Bismarck is a very impressive warship. She's by no means the best battleship of her generation, but she is extremely dangerous. For over 80 years, the Bismarck has rested in the crushing blackness of the Atlantic floor. It was a symbol of immense power, brought down in a legendary chase. But that legend is about to be shattered. A clandestine mission using underwater drones and magnetometers 100 times more sensitive than standard tech just scanned the wreck. The data returned was not just surprising, it was terrifying. The ship's magnetic signature is unlike anything ever recorded, suggesting the Bismarck was carrying a secret that went down with it. A secret that is somehow, impossibly, still active. The Echo in the Dark Deep beneath the surface of the North Atlantic, at a depth of nearly 16,000 feet, the pressure is immense over 6,000 pounds per square inch. Down here, sunlight is a distant memory and the cold is absolute. This is the eternal resting place of the German battleship Bismarck. For decades, the ship sat in silent darkness, a monument to one of history's most dramatic naval pursuits. But recently, this silence was broken. You see, a new generation of Autonomous Underwater Vehicles, or AUVS, was tasked with creating the most detailed map of the wreck to date. One of these drones, nicknamed Hugen, was equipped with a revolutionary piece of technology, a quantum magnetometer array, a hundred times more powerful than anything deployed before. Its job was to map the magnetic field of the decaying steel hulk, giving scientists a clear picture of its structural integrity. It was supposed to be a routine survey. What many overlooked is that sometimes, when you look too closely, you find things you were never meant to see. As the Hugen drone made its slow, methodical passes over the 823-foot-long wreck, something deeply unsettling began to appear on the screens of the surface vessel. A magnetometer simply measures magnetic fields. A giant steel ship, even a wrecked one, has a predictable magnetic signature. But this wasn't predictable. The data showed a powerful, localized magnetic anomaly originating from deep within the Bismarck's armored citadel, the most protected part of the ship. To put it mildly, the readings were impossible. The field was not only incredibly strong, but it was also pulsing with a slow, rhythmic regularity. It was like a heartbeat. The team recalibrated their instruments, thinking it was a malfunction. They sent the drone back down. The results were the same. The most shocking fact is, the signature didn't match any known alloy or electrical source from that era. It was alien. Naval analysts brought in to review the data were baffled, then deeply concerned. The energy signature was more characteristic of a modern experimental reactor than a World War II battleship. It raised a terrifying question. What was the Bismarck really carrying? The ship's construction was already legendary, but this data suggested something far beyond simple Teutonic engineering. It hinted that the pride of the German Navy was more than just a ship. It was a container for something else entirely. The data was immediately classified and the mission logs were sealed. The Navy wasn't just looking at history, they were looking at a potential threat that had been dormant for nearly a century. The ship's armor was known to be over a foot thick in places made of special Wotan steel designed to defeat any shell. But this magnetic field wasn't coming from the armor itself. It was emanating from a section near the ship's keel that housed the boiler and engine rooms, yet the signature was inconsistent with steam turbines. The rhythmic pulse, once every 82 seconds, was so precise it couldn't be a natural phenomenon. It was artificial. It was a machine. A machine that was, against all logic, still operating after 80 years in the abyss. This discovery changed the Bismarck from a historical wreck into an active mystery, one that terrified officials who now had to consider what would happen if that strange energy source ever became unstable. The official story of a mighty ship sunk in battle was now just a cover for a much darker secret. But the ship held another secret, this one hiding in plain sight. To understand the gravity of the drone's discovery, one must first understand the Bismarck itself. This was not just a ship, it was a statement. When it was launched in 1939, it was the heaviest and most powerful warship ever built by any European power. Displacing more than 50,000 tons when fully loaded, it was a floating fortress of steel and firepower stretching longer than two and a half football fields. Its very existence was a direct challenge to the naval supremacy of the British Royal Navy. The thing nobody tells you is just how advanced it truly was for its time. 
The Bismarck was protected by a belt of steel armor that was over 12 inches thick, designed to make it virtually immune to enemy fire. Its main armament consisted of eight massive 15-inch guns housed in four enormous turrets. These guns could hurl shells weighing nearly 2,000 pounds each over a distance of 23 miles. That's like launching a small car from one side of a city to the other with pinpoint accuracy. The sheer power was staggering. In a test firing, one of its primary guns fired a shell that traveled a staggering 21 miles. And you can see this everywhere in its design, a commitment to survivability. The ship was divided into 22 watertight compartments and had a double bottom for most of its length, making it incredibly resilient to torpedoes and mines. Its top speed of over 30 knots, or about 35 miles per hour, made it faster than any battleship in the British fleet. It was, in every sense, a predator of the seas. Many people are crazy about the legend that the Bismarck was unsinkable. And while that's not strictly true, its construction was so robust that it became a central part of its mythos. But it wasn't just about raw power. The ship was also a technological marvel. It featured some of the most advanced radar and fire control systems of the era. The SeaTac radar, while primitive by today's standards, gave the Bismarck the ability to detect enemy ships from over 15 miles away, even in darkness or fog. This technological edge is what made it such a terrifying opponent. It could see you before you could see it, and it could hit you from an unimaginable distance. What many overlooked was the sheer amount of resources poured into this single vessel. The project consumed a massive portion of Germany's steel production and naval budget, all for this one perfect instrument of war. But the new magnetometer data suggests that the budget may have been hiding the cost of something else, a secret project nestled deep within the ship's hull. Was this advanced technology the real reason for the mission? The ship's design was so intimidating that it forced the Allies to divert huge resources just to keep tabs on it. Its first and only mission would prove why they were right to be afraid. Eight Days of Glory In May of 1941, the Bismarck slipped out of its port in the Baltic Sea and headed for the open waters of the Atlantic. Codenamed Operation Reinebung, its mission was simple and brutal, to sever the vital supply convoys that were the lifeline for Great Britain. Accompanied by the heavy cruiser Prince Eugen, the Bismarck was a wolf heading for the sheep pen. The British Admiralty knew that if the Bismarck reached the convoy lanes, the devastation would be catastrophic. The hunt was on. The most shocking fact is how quickly the Bismarck made its mark. In the Denmark Strait, between Greenland and Iceland, it encountered the pride of the Royal Navy, the battlecruiser HMS Hood and the new battleship Prince of Wales. The Hood was a legendary ship, but it was older with weaker deck armor. At a range of over nine miles, the Bismarck opened fire. Just minutes into the engagement, a 15-inch shell from the Bismarck plunged through the hood's thin armor and detonated one of its main ammunition magazines. The resulting explosion was colossal, tearing the hood in half. The ship sank in less than three minutes, taking over 1,400 men with it. Only three survived. The destruction of the hood sent a shockwave of horror through the Allied command. But not all things are what they seem. In the same battle, the Bismarck was hit by the Prince of Wales, causing a fuel leak that would prove to be its fatal flaw. Forced to head for repairs in occupied France, the Bismarck tried to shake its pursuers. For over 30 hours, it vanished into the vastness of the Atlantic, causing panic in London. The Royal Navy, however, was relentless. They threw everything they had into the search, calling in ships from across the ocean. The thing nobody tells you is that the final blow came from one of the most unlikely of sources, a squadron of obsolete biplanes. These were the fairy swordfish, slow fabric-covered planes launched from the aircraft carrier HMS Ark Royal. They looked like relics from a past war. Yet in a desperate last-ditch attack in the middle of a storm, one of their torpedoes struck the Bismarck in its Achilles heel, its rudders. The torpedo jammed the rudders, leaving the mighty battleship unable to steer, turning in helpless circles. It was a one-in-a-million shot that sealed its fate. The Royal Navy's battleships King George V and Rodney closed in for the final engagement. For nearly two hours, they pounded the crippled Bismarck with hundreds of shells. The superstructure was reduced to a blazing ruin, 
Yet astonishingly, the ship refused to sink. Its armor and internal compartmentalization were just that good. This incredible resilience would later fuel a massive debate. The ship's final moments remained shrouded in mystery. When oceanographer Robert Ballard, the same man who found the Titanic, discovered the wreck of the Bismarck in 1989, he expected to find a ship torn to pieces. Instead, he found the hull remarkably intact, resting upright on the slopes of an extinct underwater volcano. This discovery reignited a fierce debate that continues to this day. Was the Bismarck put on the bottom by British firepower, or did its own crew scuttle it? You see, the British have always maintained that their relentless shelling and torpedoes sank the ship. It was a clear victory, a testament to the power of the Royal Navy. However, the German survivors have always told a different story. They claimed that with the ship crippled and beyond saving, the order was given to open the seacocks and detonate scuttling charges to ensure the Bismarck would never be captured. They chose to send their own ship to the bottom, an act of defiance to the very end. Ballard's own investigation of the wreck seemed to support the German account. While the superstructure was a mangled wreck from thousands of hits, his underwater robots found that the main armored hull had very few penetrations. The torpedo holes were there, but they weren't enough to explain the rapid sinking. To put it mildly, it looked like the ship had been flooded from the inside out. The pride of the Royal Navy may have destroyed the Bismarck as a fighting vessel, but it seems its crew had the final say on when and how it went to the abyss. For over 80 years, the final moments of the German battleship Bismarck were seen as a story of defiance. Cornered, crippled, and facing the entire British home fleet, her crew made the ultimate choice. They scuttled their ship, sending the pride of the Kriegsmarine to the dark, crushing depths of the Atlantic. It was an act of military pride, a refusal to let their prized warship fall into enemy hands. This narrative has been debated by historians and naval experts for decades, a settled ghost of a long overdue war. But now with new magnetometer data from a deep sea drone, a third more terrifying possibility emerges. One that reframes this final act, not as pride, but as panicked necessity. What if the scuttling wasn't just about defiance? What if it was about containment? Deep within the ship's armored citadel, the drone's instruments detected something that shouldn't be there. A strange, pulsing energy source. It's a faint rhythmic beat from the heart of the wreck, an impossible technological ghost. This presents a chilling thought. If the crew knew they were carrying something dangerously unstable, a secret weapon or an unearthly artifact that could not be allowed to fall into enemy hands, their final act takes on a whole new, desperate meaning. The scuttling charges weren't just to sink a ship and deny the enemy a trophy, they were a desperate last-ditch effort to ensure a horrifying secret stayed buried under three miles of salt water and suffocating pressure. This is the theory that now has top naval intelligence officials terrified. The public historical debate is a perfect cover for a very real modern-day threat. The pulsing is slow, but it's undeniably there. The energy is contained, for now, locked within a decaying steel tomb. But what happens when the corroding 80-year-old wreck finally gives way? What nightmare will be unleashed from the abyss when the cage breaks? We have to ask ourselves if we are missing a key detail about the true purpose of the Bismarck's one and only mission. The thing is, the mystery is no longer about who sank the ship or why. It's about what the ship is actively hiding right now. The data from the drone suggests the final terrifying chapter of the Bismarck story has yet to be written, and the ending might not be in the history books, but in our headlines. Did the Bismarck's crew scuttle their ship to protect a secret technology far ahead of its time? The pulsing from the wreck continues, a silent warning from the deep. Like and subscribe for more mysteries.